Hello and welcome to episode three of the indoor football workout with me, Daniel Callan. So today we're just going to get straight on with it and we're going to get into the warm up. So first things first, we're going to get onto the floor and we're going to stretch our hip flexors out. So back leg bent on the floor and the front leg is going to be at 90 degrees and we're just going to push in. We should feel it stretching into your side here. Thank you for everyone who's coming back after the last two episodes. I hope you've enjoyed them. And we've got three more to do now. Um, today's episode is a little bit more based about balance um, with different exercises, including technique stuff, which have a little bit of balance in them. Um, so some core stuff, again, very balancey based and a few little other drills here and there um, based about strength as well. So again, hopefully we all enjoy it and hopefully we're getting some benefit out of it. Okay, next exercise, we're just gonna stretch into our hamstrings, so drop back a little bit, and just stretch in back here, back of your thigh. So keep watching out on the PSE page, there's gonna be loads more stuff. It's not just gonna be me, we've got other people that are looking to get involved. Um, there's gonna be some articles up there, there's gonna be all sorts of stuff coming out, so make sure you keep an eye out on it. Um, there's going to be loads and loads of great content from loads of great people that are getting involved with it as well. Um, anything that you can think of that you like, I know I've already had a few people mention to me about doing stuff that's not just football, so I'm going to look into doing some stuff like that. Um, we're going to get up and we're going to stretch up the quads. Um, so yeah, if there's anything you can think about that you would like me to do, show, um, so whatever it is, just message me, get in contact with me, and yeah, we'll see what we can do, how we can improve this. Um, yes, any ideas, more than welcome. And just keep sharing this out to your teammates, your friends, and hopefully we can benefit a lot of people, especially whilst we're all locked inside at the moment. Because I know I'm certainly getting bored of just being indoors now. So again, watch out for more content whilst I've got a load of time on my hands. Okay, so next one, we're just going to stretch out our backs, so twist in side to side. This session is going to take exactly the same format as the last few. So we're going to do 10 exercises for a set, there's going to be two sets of them. So 10 exercises, 30 seconds working, 30 seconds resting. When we've done all 10, we're then going to take a break, two minute break. And then we're going to do the same again. So another 10 exercises, which are all going to be the same as the first set. We're going to do them for 30 seconds each, 30 seconds uh, resting. So we're just going to open up the gates now. Two more stretching bits, then we're going to get into it. And all the exercises, remember, so it's going to be over the five uh, different videos that we're doing the five episodes there's going to be 50 different exercises so 10 exercises per video and they're all going to be different different variations of things different completely different drills so yeah hopefully um, there's going to be stuff that you like there's you know, stuff you might not like but just when it comes to the end of it and you've seen all the drills all the exercises you can then go away yourself and pick which ones you like you might just be someone that's enjoyed all the um, technique stuff or you might be someone that's enjoyed all the core stuff you can just pick the bits you like and then just make your own sessions um, out of them so next one just gonna heels up at the back a little bit of pulse raiser and then we're gonna get going straight away and relax okay so get yourself a quick drink I'm gonna set the timer so the first one is going to be Rolls, um, so two foot rolls. So it's going to be like this. We're going to get the foot out. So it's going to be roll across, roll across, stop, roll across, roll across, stop, roll across, roll across, stop, roll. Okay, so it's two rolls followed by a stop on the other foot. So roll, roll, stop, roll, roll, stop. Okay, same as always. The challenge: how quick we do it, and the other challenge. So it's like, can we try and keep our head up whilst we're doing it as well? So two different bits that can make it a little bit more difficult for you. Gonna go in five seconds. Just gonna take a quick drink and then we're gonna start. 
Ready, so five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. 30 seconds working. How quick can we do it? Can we keep our head up lots we do? When you get into that rhythm, try and do it a little bit quicker. Try and challenge yourself. Five seconds left. And relax. So, next one is going to be on the floor, it's a plank. So, I'm going to get into a planking position, okay? And it's going to be up, down, down, and then up, okay? So, we're going to get going in 10 seconds. Hopefully, you can hear the beeper. I've tried to set the beeper on my phone so that uh, you guys can hear it whilst you're working out too. And off we go. 30 seconds work. Great exercise for your core, but also some good strength work into your arms as well. Ten seconds left. And relax. 30 seconds rest, then we're going to go into ski jumps. So, for this one, it's based about balance, based about working those muscles that all activate you um, so to secure le your leg when you're balancing. So, it's going to be a hop across to one side, and you want to hold in that position. So, slightly bend, you want to be a little bit into a squat, just bending your leg, and then try and hold. Off we go, 30 seconds. So you want to hold it for about a second and then jump across. So it's a little bit of power and a little bit of stability stuff as well. Exercises like these, they're great for your agility. And relax. So, next one can be a football drill, and it's going to be outside the foot chops. So, it's going to be taking a touch outside your foot to chop back. Try and keep control of the ball, as I just didn't. So, you want to take a touch and chop. Okay, if you're working in a small area, make sure you're careful with the ball. Go in four seconds. Make sure we're using both feet. And relax there. 30 seconds rest. Next one, we're going to get onto our side. So we're going to do one side, then the other. It's going to be a side plank. Okay? So, onto the floor. And instead of being straight out, we're going to be on our side. Just going to raise up. You want to be nice and straight here. And you want to keep your arm up, just open up your chest. So your back's not collapsing in. Off we go, 30 seconds. We'll do 30 seconds on one side, then we'll swap over and do 30 seconds on the other. Make sure you try and keep your whole body in line. Half the time gone. Should be feeling it in here, into your core. And relax. Might as well stay on the floor because we're going to just go to flip over, work the other side now. Going to do 30 seconds there. And then after that, there's only four more exercises left doing this set. Then we'll get a two minute rest. Then we'll go again. 10 seconds, we're going again.
three, two, one, and up. Try and hold it nice and still, even if your body's shaking, just make sure you hold it. If your body's shaking, it just means you're working hard, which is always a good thing. 10 seconds left. Can you push yourself to hold yourself up the whole time? And relax. So, next one, we're going to get the ball out again. So, a little bit of a technique drill. It's going to be on one leg. Okay? And what we're going to do is rolling the ball round in a circle, just round the standing leg. Okay? So, the challenge how quick you do it. And also, can you keep your head up whilst you're doing it? So lots of little touches. We're going to do 15 seconds, and we're going to swap legs, okay? Just be ready, listen now. Off we go. So we've got five more seconds on this leg. And change over. Try and work the other leg so you're working on your weaker foot or your less good foot. Five seconds. How many can you get in? There we go. So, 30 seconds rest. Put the ball to one side. This time, okay, so we're going to get on the floor. It's another uh, core exercise, so it's going to be cycles. So, on your back. Going to be slightly raised, keep your legs off the ground, and bring in across and across, okay? See how many we can do in 30 seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Keep yourself working. Only two more exercises after this. And relax. Okay, apologies for your technical difficulties there. So, next one's going to be a press up on the ball. So, we're going to have one arm on the ball, one arm off the ball. It's going to be a press down, roll across onto the other arm, and press up again. Okay? So we're going to work 30 seconds, just watch your sides. We're going to get going in three, two, one, off we go. 30 seconds work. I need one more exercise after this. Great for your upper body strength, great for your core as well. Last exercise, then we get a two minute break. So, next one is just going to be knees to chest. So, stand in and bring your knees up. Okay, so high jumps, bring your knees up to your chest, good heart raise up, and then we get a two minute break. Go in 10 seconds, work for 30 seconds. Starting in four, three, two, one. Off we go. Fifteen seconds left. And relax. So, two minute break, grab yourself a drink, get yourself, get your break, get your breath back. As we've been doing in the breaks, so I've been putting up different kits on the wall so far. 
Stay. Got another QPR shirt. This one is from the uh, year we went up in the playoffs, which myself and my dad went to. So QPR v Derby. And that's the kit from the Bobby Zamora game. QPR down to 10 men on the 60th minute. Had to play 30 minutes. Um, and didn't look like we were going to win. And then just out of nowhere, suddenly that one goal sent us up to the Premier League. And although we were only up for one season, it was a great day out, so it was absolutely worth it just for that day. Another thing I want to little mention is this little guy here. That I've just chucked down the back of the. There we are. So, this little guy is, there you go, hopefully you can see him. You've probably seen him on uh, adverts on Sky Sports. Jeff Sterling does a lot with these guys. So, that's Prostate Cancer UK, and more specifically the Men United campaign. Great campaign to support. So, whilst we should be supporting the NHS right now, that's another one as well. Another great campaign that's worth mentioning. He's always up on the wall there. So, we're going to get going in about five seconds. Okay, so we're going four seconds, starting off with those rolls. So it's going to be two rolls and then a stop of the ball. So, roll, roll, stop, roll, roll, stop. Okay, we're going to get going in four seconds. And off we go. Again, challenge. Can we keep our head up whilst we're doing it? And then how quick can we do it? Make sure we keep that ball under control. Five seconds. And 30 seconds rest. So first, Next exercise, down the floor, it's going to be those up down planks. So, in the plank position, and down, up, down, up. Okay, so we're going to work 10 seconds, we're going to work for 30 seconds, then we're going to have a break. We're going in four, three, and off we go. So, 30 seconds, keep yourself up the whole time. Good for your core, good for your upper body strength as well. And relax. So next one we're going into the ski jumps. So remember, jump across, hold, jump across, hold. So we're going to go in 15 seconds and then we've got seven exercises after this, eight more to do this is and then we've got seven after this this is our third exercise of the set and off we go make sure you hold for that second Five seconds left, how many can you get? And relax. 30 seconds rest. Next one is going to be those outside chops. So lots of close control, followed by that turn. So outside the foot. Okay, so top the test. Can you keep your head up, keep control of that ball in that tight area as well. Five seconds, off we go.
10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. So next one, we're gonna go onto the sides, do the side planks. So again, 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. So we'll do both sides, 30 seconds each. Good core exercises. And you've got the different types of planks. You've got forward plank, you've also got the side planks, the press up planks that we were doing earlier. And off we go. Remember, try and keep yourself straight in this area. Just down your side. You don't want to be up or you don't want to be slouched down. We want to be holding ourselves so we're activating our core. And also keeping good posture as well. Don't want to end up injuring your back. Five seconds. And relax. Change sides. She's got 30 seconds rest. Change sides. After this exercise, there's only four more to do. So we've got balance, um, technique drill, the ball going around your leg. And then we've got the press ups on the ball and the jumps to finish. And we're starting again in four seconds. So get yourself ready. And let's get ourselves up and off we go. 30 seconds. Try and hold yourself for the full 30 seconds. Even if you're starting to feel it get tough, motivate yourself, get yourself through because you've got that 30 seconds rest after. Only five more exercises. And we're halfway through the fifth of them. Ten seconds left. Keep yourself going all the way to the end. Three, two, one, and relax. So four exercises left. Four exercises, that's all it is. You're only working for another two minutes. So we're going to do those balance rolls. 15 seconds one side, 15 seconds on the other. Okay? So it's good for your balance, good for your technique. It's a nice little drill you can just do anywhere whilst if you've got a football and just stand around. Great to work both legs as well. Off we go. So if you're finding that easy on one foot, just test yourself and do it on the weak foot. So this one you can do at home at any point. And change sides. So if it's one that you would want to just do at home, you might just do 30 seconds, just working on one on the opposite side that you're not used to. And get yourself good at that. Try and get yourself in one more. And relax. So Next one, we're going to be lying on our backs. Okay, so it's the cycling. So bringing across, coming up one side, up on the other. Okay, so just swapping sides. And we're going to work for 30 seconds. Keep going for the whole 30 seconds. So only two more exercises after this one. So only a minute and a half of actually working. Off we go, 30 seconds. Halfway there already. And relax. Two exercises to go. That's all. You nearly drop the foot. So, next one is going to be those press ups, swapping sides with the ball. So we're going to go in 15 seconds. Just remember it's press up, roll across, press up. Okay. And off we go. 30 seconds. How many can you get in? Great for your core, great for your upper body.
and relax. So, on to the last one. Don't need the football for it. Remember, it's going to be those jumps, knees to chest, working hard for 30 seconds, then you get a rest. So, it's good for the lungs, this one, good for the heart, also good for your power as well. So, a bit of leg strength should tire you out as well. So, last one, put it in for the whole time. We're going in five seconds. And off we go. Half the time gone. Tiring that last one. Grab yourself a drink. Then we're going to do a little cool down. Then we're done for the day. Creeps up on you that last one. You should feel alright whilst you're doing it. Then, as soon as you finish, start slowing yourself down. Have to catch up your breath. So, first one we're going to do. Just on the floor, so we're going to bring line out, we're going to bring our quad up, do it that way so we can see, bring your quad up, you just stretch it to the front of your thigh, a few deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, try and catch your breath back, and we're going to swap sides, Important you stretch after. Because when we work, we tighten those muscles up. So it's important to loosen them up again. There we go. So next one, just going to stretch. Stretch forward, just into your hamstring. So you should feel it down the back of your leg. Try and pull your uh, your toes up, and we're going to swap sides. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that workout. There's two more videos to come. It means a lot. Keep liking, share it, get it out to as many people as possible, and hopefully we're helping a few people who are just a bit bored at home. We want to do a bit of football fitness. Bit of technique stuff, all stuff related to football. So even though it's like balance drills, it's important because we we'll spend a lot of time in football on one leg. Think when you're kicking the ball, we're in those squat positions a lot on one leg. So you need to work those little muscles that you don't really know about that help just stabilise your leg whilst you're um, working. Then obviously you've got your power stuff. The technique stuff obviously, your power stuff great for running, jumping. So just kind of twist on our back. And that's the end of the episode guys, so as I say, hit the subscribe button below, like the video, get onto our Instagram, our Twitter page, there's a lot more stuff coming, there's stuff not even workout stuff, there's going to be some media stuff as well on there from lots of different great people, some great aspiring writers, some aspiring coaches. So yeah, you're not just going to have me the whole time. So get on there, have a look at their stuff as well, help promote them. They'd really appreciate it, as do I. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. That's been episode three of the Indoor Football Workout. Two more to come. Cheers, guys.